Now we are going to talk about subtypes of dementia. In our previous class, we have talked about some of the subtypes of dementia. And in this lesson, we are also going to talk about some subtypes of dementia. And in our last class, we will talk about the rest of the subtypes of dementia. So without uh, wasting our time now, let's go and enjoy reading subtypes of dementia. Frontotemporal, main article, frontotemporal dementia. Frontotemporal dementias, FTDs, are characterized by drastic personality change and language difficulties. In all FTDs, the person has a relatively early social withdrawal and early lack of insight. Memory problems are not a main feature. There are six main types of FTD. The first has major symptoms in personality and behavior. This is called behavioral variant FTD, BVFTD, and is the most common. The hallmark feature of behavioral FTD is impulsive behavior, and this can be detected in pre-dementia states. In behavioral FTD or frontotemporal dementia, the person shows a change in personal hygiene becomes rigid in their thinking and rarely acknowledges problems. They are socially withdrawn and often have a drastic increase in appetite. They may become socially inappropriate. For example, they may make inappropriate sexual comments or may begin using pornography openly. One of the most common signs is apathy and are not caring about anything. Apathy, however, is, not, is a common symptom in many dementias. Two types of FTD feature aphasia, or language problems, as the main symptom. One type is called semantic variant primary progressive aphasia, SVPPA. The main feature of this is the loss of meaning of words. It may begin with difficulty naming things. The person eventually may lose the meanings of objects as well. For example, a drawing of a bird, dog, and an airplane in someone with FTD may all appear almost the same. In a classic test for this, a patient is shown a picture of a pyramid and below it a picture of both a palm tree and a pine tree. The person is asked to say which one goes best with the pyramid. In SVPPA, the person cannot answer that question. The other type is called non-fluent agrammatic variant primary progressive aphasia, NFAPPA. This is normal, mainly a problem with producing space. They have trouble finding the right words, but mostly they have a difficulty coordinating the muscles they need to speak. Eventually, someone with NFA, PPA only uses one syllable words or may become totally mute. A frontotemporal dementia associated with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, known as FTD ALS includes the symptoms of FTD, behavior, language, and movement problems co-occurring with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, loss of motor neurons. Two FTD-related disorders are progressive espranuclear palsy, also classed as Parkinson plus syndrome, and corticobasal degeneration. These disorders are tau-associated. Hunting's, Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease is also a subtype of dementia. Now let's talk about this. Huntington's disease is a degenerative disease caused by mutations in a single gene. Symptoms include cognitive impairment and this usually declines further into dementia. HIV. Main article HIV associated neurocognitive disorders. HIV associated dementia results as a late stage from HIV infection and mostly affects younger people. The essential feature of HIV associated dementia are disabling 
cognitive impairment accompanied by motor dysfunction. Speech problems and behavioral change. Cognitive impairment is characterized by mental slowness, trouble with memory, and poor concentration. Motor symptoms include a loss of fine motor control leading to clumsiness, poor balance, and tremors. Behavioral changes may include apathy, lethargy, and diminished emotional responses, and spontaneity. Histopathologically, histopathologically, it is identified by the infiltration of monocytes and macrophages into the central nervous system, CNS. Gliosis, failure of myelin sheaths, abnormalities of dendritic process and neuronal loss. Kruzfels-Jakob disease. Kruzfels-Jakob disease is a rapidly progressive prion disease that typically causes dementia that worsens over weeks to months. Prions are disease-causing pathogens created from abnormal proteins. Prions are disease-causing pathogens created from abnormal proteins. So this is the uh, this is the end of the subtypes of the of the dementia i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video and if you have any comment don't forget to comment and thank you for subscribe for watching this video and subscribing to this channel